Now, Dara, it's hard to believe it's already time for opening ceremonies at the 2016 Games. What can we, what can we look forward to as, as viewers at these Games? Well, I, I think uh, Rio so far is doing okay, and I, I think the opening ceremony is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Uh, you know, it's a young team, at least as far as the swim team goes. Almost 70% of these swimmers are first-time Olympians, and that's why I'm excited about, to be here. Kellogg's brought me in to be the captain of Team Kellogg's and sort of help out first-time Olympians. They have Tom Shields on their team, who's a 100 and 200 butterflyer for swimming. There's A.J. Wilson, who's track and field. Julie Johnston, soccer. You have Simone Biles, gymnastics. And it's just going to be a lot of fun to watch these rookies and see what they can do. You know, you just kind of touched on what I was going to touch on myself. You're working as a mentor to a group of first-time Olympians, a lot of Olympians this time. What was it like for you going into your first games, and what little tidbit from that do you hope to be able to share? Well, it wasn't easy. I'm 17 years old. It was back in 1984, and I didn't really know what to expect. And so it's nice to talk to these kids and, and let them know what to expect. Um, everyone's pretty motivated, and, and I think that's why this is such a great team that Team Kellogg's has put together is they're motivated. They know what gets them started for the day, and uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun to watch. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how they do here in the Olympic Games. No doubt on that. Now, you know obviously what it takes to get to this level of competition it's global it is the top the pinnacle now what do you think is going through like what's the one thought that is going through these new olympians heads right now i think for them the, the hardest thing is is just remembering that the pool is the same size the gymnasium is the same size the track is the same distance that you're here you're the best in the world that's why you're here and just to go out here and enjoy it and soak it all in i mean everyone's very focused very dedicated but but they need to enjoy the experience too and i think that's one thing i didn't get to do because i was so nervous as a 17 year old i didn't have a mentor like i'm trying to be to, the, to these young kids and um they have wonderful journeys and, and if your viewers want to learn more about their stories and journeys they should go to kellogg's.com slash team usa and we want to hear everyone else's stories of what gets them started and motivated but uh you know it's it's just very um one of those things where where when you see them compete and it's their first time and the excitement on their face it's just it gives you goosebumps it's so fun to watch no doubt it does it gives me goosebumps every every four years it really does <laughs> now olympic yes, athletes dedicate their entire lives to train for one shot of the games hopefully two you know it all depends but what do you think are some of the, the lessons that we can pull from their experiences to help us fulfill our own potential? I think for for most people, it's it's setting goals. All athletes set goals. Uh, I, I know that when I even stopped swimming, I would still set goals throughout my day or weeks and what I wanted to accomplish that week. And I think a lot of athletes have that, that thought in common. All right, one more quick question before we go. You're not going to be in the pool yourself this year, but what do you think we'll be seeing from Team USA in the pool? I think it's going to be very exciting. Half, actually, more than half the team is our rookies, so uh, it'll be fun to see how they can deal with the pressure. It's going to always be fun watching the Olympians like Michael Phelps, and who are veterans, and, and Ryan Lochte and Katie Ledecky. And for me personally, my, my teammate on Team Kellogg's, Team Shields, is going to be fun to watch too in the 100 and 200 fly. So there going to be some great swims. All right, Dara, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.